but we've had a new arrival. He's a few days old now at this stage. Hopefully the mother won't try and kill me. She's a little feisty. Uh, she's uh, one of the salmon hill cows. She looks a bit weird there with the on the wide angle. Um, yeah, but that's that's her little calf, little half a calf. Um, she, I would have classed as one of the quietest, quietest cows that we have. But uh, she's a little feisty now since she's had the calf. I don't think she'd, I don't think she'd go for you. I don't think she'd do anything. But you never know. She's uh, does a little bit of blowing and snorting at you. But ah, look, we're in and out bedding her, and she hasn't went for us yet. So. But yeah, she a little out of sync. She had a hard calving. Um, she calved at the same time last year. So it would have been the previous year she had a hard calving. Um, and usually when they don't go back and calf straight away, uh, they usually get the chop. But we give her a second chance. And uh, she's calving on a... She calved about 365 days. More or less, within a, within a day or so of it. Um, so she's on the 365 day cycle, which is what you want. And uh, we're glad we glad we kept her on and give her another chance. Um, she is, uh, we actually bought, there's a little bit of sentimental value to her as well. She was one of five heifers that we bought off a, a very good friend of ours who passed away uh, quite tragically. So, um, Yes, it's one of one of his heifers, and so it's uh, it's it's nice to still have those around, and we'll try and keep them around as long as we can. So, but yeah, so it's a little bit early, but it's great to see great to see a little calf running around. Uh, so that's that's the start of it. Uh, she's getting fed in uh, she's getting fed in this half barrel that she's made quite a hoop of. Um, but yeah, no, apart from that, that's about it. Uh, we've, our stock bull has moved to here because he was late going in. He was out with the, some of the last cows over on the side here. Um, and his condition just wouldn't have been where we'd like it to be. So we've, any eagle-eyed viewers may have seen him. He was in this first pen with the cows for the first number of weeks after we went in so he would have been in some of those first videos that I made and uh, yes yeah, so we moved him in here and he's now getting uh, he's getting silage meal and um, he's in on in the luxury suite in on the straw so he's living it up here now in the lap of luxury uh, and hopefully we'll get a little bit of weight onto him and his condition improved before uh, he has to get with the cows he's plenty of time anyways He'll not be getting with the cows until April, so he's got plenty of time to, to fill out and condition himself. Um, he's been, we have one crop of calves out of him at the minute. Uh, he's a blee lactic or uh, easy calf in Charlie Bull. Uh, we'd be very happy with the calves out of him so far. Um, the growth compared to the limousines, uh, there's no real comparison actually because they're at 12, at so far, like they're not just, they're not 12 months yet, but they're about 11 months, and there's just absolutely no comparison. They're doing far better the the charities, um, but we were very happy. We, he, he there was 30 ca cows and calf to him, and we hadn't to put to the jack to any. The only one we we had one that we had a problem with calving, where the calf was coming backwards and uh, we had to jack the calf out of, of hole. But apart from that, the rest of the cows all calved on their own out of them. Um, and yeah, so we're very, very happy with them. Um, so yeah, he's only a young bull. Um, yeah, so that's that's why he's in there. And uh, yeah, that's the rest of the girls there, they're just still on the side. The same as, same as the other girls in the other video, they're still just at the same stage, maintaining themselves and uh, getting ready for for the calving to start so that's it for another video uh, okay well thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video